All right, how are we gonna get in here? Logan is puzzling over that lock. I should find a way to help him. With a rope, with a hook, a spark plug, and a sieve. Okay. Oh, not, maybe we can use this, no? Okay, I, hmm. Or is it over here? Oh! Mm. Okay, okay. Bar Col for a kaleidoscope. Okay, I need to. But I need to open something. I mean, yes, sure, but what am I opening? Also, pipette. Okay, what happens if I have two things? I get to select item. Okay, it is here. Okay, then why were you like not letting me? Jack of hearts. Joker figurine. Well, I do know where that goes immediately. Here. Door bolt handle. Wait, door bolt handle. What? It's not something in here. Door. No. No. Is it here? Oh, it's like the one one place I haven't checked yet. <laughs> oh, I just need to click. Okay, what was that suspicious item? Something is in there going in circles. I should find a way to catch it. Oh, <laughs> another magnet. Uh, can't operate this without a handle. Oh, another spark plug? Okay. Um, I don't know where we need these things. Oh. Oh, magnet. Okay. Hello. Uh, arrange the animals according to their natural habitats in the northern or southern hemisphere. Oh, you are south. You are north. Um, penguins are south, and yes, you are north. Uh, north, south, north and south. Yes. Compass rose. That is for here. Okay, lock pick. All right. Wow, he lives so far away. 
Uh, I need to push several springs up to open this lock, but which ones? The yellow, the, the non-rusty ones? The ones that actually get used? Okay, now we have a shovel, actually. Told you it was a speaker. Oh no, it's not a speaker. Okay, fine. I still believe the voice is coming from, like, recordings. Another box, another secret. Gear wheel spark plugs. Does the gear wheel go here? No. That's not what that meant. Oh, okay. Excuse me, what? Oh, is that a rat? You little... Ha. Huh. That's kind of fun, though. Oh, the egg is still on the floor. Well then. Donkey is missing his tail. Mm. Those broccoli, I need a mouse trap, egg beater, spoon, and fish. Spoon, mouse trap, and fish. Oh, no, I would not have found that. <laughs> I would not have found that. Hedgehog plaque. Ah. What is this? I should find a way to get this machine going. Uh, spark plugs. Well, I do like wrenches. Ah, uh, it's locked behind reinforced glass. Just to specify that we cannot break it. Good to know, though. Control handle. That was strange. Who was shouting back there? You know. Where do we need that? Oh, is that for here? Oh, it is, okay. Move the tiles to the right hand half of the board according to the markings on each tile. Oh, okay. No, there. Um, okay, but we need to start with the ones that are all the way over here, really. You were there. You are over there. You are all the way up here. Uh, you are all the way down there. 
And you are the one that's over there. Okay. Second row. Or column, I mean. You are second column. 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 Okay, third column. You are third column. You are third, and you are third. So fourth, you are fourth. Uh, whoopsie daisy, you are four. Uh, you are. F you are five. I. Uh, am. Not counting correctly. Okay, now five. Cool. What is that? That is a cross-shaped key. Cross-shaped key. Oh, a box from France. From Paris. Okay, okay, I do understand where that goes. Cat plaque, cat plaque goes here. Come on, move. Heart plaque. Cabinet key. Uh, is that all the way back here? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, well, almost, almost, almost here. Yes. Glass cutter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. It doesn't matter what you do anymore. This is the end of the road for you. Who are you and what do you want? Interesting. Moon Crescent. Okay, we'll do that hidden object scene. Oh. And we need two parts for that. Fine. I guess we get the other part here. Boot family. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Compass, 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 Oh, okay. Puzzle me into this tunnel. Use the arm to move the pieces from the bottom of the puzzle into the appropriate slots on the rotating disc. You? No, oh, it is you. It has to be you.
Uh, this one? Okay, that one. A this one. That one. That one. And this one. Whee! Good job, Owen. Let's not waste a second. Indeed. It's too dark to see in there. They used to put illumination systems in these tunnels to make it easier on maintenance crews. We should turn the lights on so we can get a good look inside. Okay, are you not capable of turning the lights on yourself, bro? Call. You... You should have been dead. How did you... Jonathan, are you insane? What are you talking about? You... Murderers! You should have died in there! You should have gotten what was coming to you! Jonathan Kirk, I am hereby placing you under arrest for attempted murder. Day 7, the questioning of Jonathan Kirk. So, Jonathan, I'm glad to see you've come back to your senses. Never mind all the precious time we've wasted waiting for you to come around, time that might have cost someone else their life. Mr. Owen Wright here. The murderer is holding his daughter hostage as we speak. Does it matter to you at all that she might die too? Now, I hope you're satisfied that neither I nor Owen Wright are in any way responsible for these tragic events and for the murder of your niece Elizabeth in particular. What on earth possessed you to think that we were the killers? And who exactly tried to kill us in that abandoned railway tunnel? Back there in the tunnel, the person who tried to kill you was... Benjamin Ross. Why would Dr. Ross want to kill us? Because he thinks you murdered his son. And what, pray tell, made the two of you believe such a thing? Because I told him so. And I heard it from my anonymous guardian angel. Say what? What guardian angel? And why would you take anyone's word for something like that? For years now, this mysterious person has been sending me these letters. He has supported me spiritually as well as financially. I'm a gambler, you know. I always need the money. So, somebody bought your opinion? Yes and no. He said he used to be a gambler too, and that he lost everything and ended up at the very bottom. And that is when he had a moment of clarity. He quit gambling, got his wealth back, and vowed to help others do the same. Why would he just keep giving you money knowing full well you'd just gamble it away? Didn't that seem suspicious to you? He said he was helping me keep my family afloat. I ended up needing him, and he never asked for anything in return. He stayed anonymous to make sure I wouldn't feel obligated to return his favors. All he wanted was to get me out of gambling. He said it was the greatest reward he could hope for. All right, let's go back to the murder attempt. What did your guardian angel tell you about us? He'd been so worried about these killings over the past six months. When my Elizabeth died, I received an urgent letter from him saying that the two of you were the real murderers. That a detective job was the perfect cover for a serial killer. Otherwise, how could the police have been so stupid and let the killer run free for so long? And... I believed him. He said someone should take justice into their own hands, and he also suggested I talk to Dr. Ross, because he, too, had lost a loved one to this Lonely Hearts killer. I had a meeting with Benjamin Ross, and he agreed with me. And then what? And then you know what happened. Benjamin set up a trap in the tunnel, and I lied to get you to go in there. You remember the story I told you about Elizabeth seeing something suspicious in the tunnel before she went missing? That was a lie. The killer is no longer holding back. He's attacking us head on. Sir, shall I put out a bulletin for the arrest of Dr. Ross? <sighs> Take care of that, Jaden, will you? Yes, sir. Owen, we have a lead to the killer again, however tenuous. We need to find out the identity of this anonymous guardian angel. 
We need to get our hands on Dr. Ross before he does something stupid again. He might also have some more information that could help the investigation. Day 24, the standstill. Oh wow, we really skipped days. How are you, Logan? I got your message, but I would have come anyway. You see, I got this letter and it's full of threats. It seems to be from the killer. It says... Another suffering soul set free. Be at Chinatown today at noon, or your loved ones will be sure to follow. Everyone got that letter. You, me, Charlotte, Archie, Matilda. They found identical ones at Jonathan's house, at Leonard's, and at the residence of Dr. Benjamin Ross. Even Jaden got one. What the hell is going on? Don't we still have six days left? I have a lot of questions myself. But right now, those letters are the one good lead we have to the killer. We still haven't found Dr. Ross. It's as if he vanished from the face of the earth. Looks like we're going to Chinatown. You know, Logan, this lonely heart's killer has escaped Lady Justice and her soul just about long enough. All I ask is that Justice gets him before Olivia. We still have time, Owen. Don't give up hope yet. As for the blindfolded lady here, it occurs to me she's been slacking off lately. All right, time to head out. This time around, the crime scene is a Chinese garden. I'll be waiting for you there. It still looks like a trap to me. Do you think we'll find any clues there? We have no choice. The only way is to go on. What happened to Evans? <laughs> oh wow, okay, we skipped like almost 20 days or something. Alright, interesting. Well, that is a good place for us to end this episode. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll see ya!